Thank you, Mike. Well, you heard him say it. Millions of dollars have been allocated to this program to help stop crime. People, of course, wondering if and when it will work. So let's bring in Avajoy Burnett. She went to get some answers on this new endeavor, this new plan. Avajoy. Denise, it is absolutely accurate to describe this as a novel idea, a novel endeavor, because Monzi, also known as the Mayor's Office for Neighborhood Safety and Engagement, they started up last January in 2021, and right now they're still revving up to provide these services. Earlier today, we were out in East Baltimore where they were at a school in East Baltimore providing services for kids, and these kids were in a community where there was a mass shooting last month. The Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement, also known as Monzi, dispatched several members to Tench Tillman Elementary Middle School on Friday. And this was a strategic move because of a mass shooting not even a half a mile from where the kids are playing right now. One man died in that mass shooting on North Rose Street last month, and three others were hurt. Monzi leaders say they used data from 311 and 911 calls and have found that people are asking for therapy sessions All right, go, go. Yes. and activities for kids, especially after traumatic experiences. There was another shooting in front of the school last year. Some of the children have not been addressed with their trauma. Last year at the same school, during their back to school rally, there was a shooting right in front of the school. The children had to run into the school and that has never been addressed. These are children, and if they become desensitized to these traumatic events, then it, it can, it's doomed to repeat itself. Monzi has $50 million in funding for the next three years. They started operations in January of 2021, and with Baltimore's concerning levels of crime, they're under pressure to prove that their strategies are working. We're not going to be shut down. We're going to change the scope of what's happening, and there's no better place to start than with children. And in a letter to City Council, Monzi's director said more than $20 million has been allocated to help cut back on gun violence here in the city of Baltimore. But with crime being so persistent, many people want results right now. So we asked leaders of the department, what are they doing and how soon can people see results? That answer coming up for you on WJZ at 6. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.